Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Mining Weekly editor Martin Kremer joins me today to unpack the latest news in the mining industry. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, Ashni. Now, the appeal of platinum as an investment asset is being increasingly recognized by Chinese investors. This is very good for South Africa. You know, we host the most platinum group metals in the world. The greater the demand, the better. And we're seeing demand build up industrially very strongly. We're seeing it in the hydrogen economy. We're seeing it in jewelry. And the Chinese are realizing that it crosses so many paths that it's good to get in on the investment side. So investment platinum, getting access to the physical platinum is very, very important. And you, you see this new platinum bar that's been launched in China has uh, had a very good reception. And it comes against the background of a lot of work by World Platinum Investment Council, but also, you know, the gold coin organization in China can also see the big gap between the platinum price and the, the gold price. And uh, they have been responsible actually for launching this one kilogram bar. Now, DRD Gold's Ergo Solar Plants has received an ESCOM Grid Connection Certificate. Yeah, now, that is, this is important as well. You know, this particular plant out at Ergo was established, I think, in the late 80s by Anglo-American at a time when there was no urban development there. So, you know, you would expect maybe they would want to go for an embedded solar, and the solar plant is huge. I mean, when you fly up on the helicopter and look at this, it's really extensive, something like 103,000 solar panels and about 43 batteries. You know, you, you can see that there is a lot of urban development around there, and at the same time, they are doing a big environmental job because they're consolidating all the tailings. And so that also links them up directly with the transmission lines. And it's important that they've now cleared up everything, that they're not just an embedded producer of, of this power, which is so important for the ergo plant, but that they also link up officially to the transmission lines. And it's not so much to supply third parties, it's to keep it within the group, because they've got so many different Eskimo accounts and municipal accounts, that this just sorts out the issue of the certification that they are part of a transmission situation as well and that they can actually wheel officially. And lastly, uh, the former Sasol and Royal Buffakem Platinum CFO is now leading a Madagascar graphite advance. Now, we could see that, you know, the, the critical metals and minerals uh, was presenting an opportunity for South Africa. And many of the f former South Africans that were then going back into mining you know, they wanted to do something in, in South Africa. And, you know, this goes back three years, two and a half years. But we didn't show any readiness, you know, to actually accept this. So you find that uh, they've gone across to Madagascar and they're mining graphite there. They shipped out their first graphite. And so it's the Mola mine. And it's part of your know, next source listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange. But you get... People like Mick Davis, who are very well known here, and uh, Henri Rousseau, very well known here. They are now deeply involved in this. And you can see that coming out of this new critical minerals mining side is also greater involvement you know, in the supply chain. Greater talk of beneficiation, where you never used to hear that before. You're now hearing it. So it is a big opportunity for South Africa you know, that we should get involved with. And you can see that the need is so great that people are just moving in all sorts of directions to make sure that they can supply. And their first shipment went to the United States and also to, to Germany. But um, there's a lot more coming out of this particular operation in Madagascar uh, to supply the anode needs you know, of the batteries that are going into electrical vehicles. Thanks for speaking with us, Martin. It's a great pleasure, Sashni. That's it for today. Join us again next week for more news analysis on the local and global mining industries. To subscribe to Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, please email subscriptions at cremamedia.ca.za.